I don't have pride. Pride's then what damage a waste of done time. Define hurt. Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why the Mana Source and Tolarian Community College did not make videos on what is happening with the community right now. They, Tolarian Community College continued to make videos about deck reviews, deck techs, popper, as if nothing was actually happening with the judge program. And we know that's not correct because Wizards of the Coast themselves, not Mero, not Elaine Chase, Someone higher up decided, yeah, this is a good idea. Having background checks on judges who interact with children, probably a good idea. And by the way, the judges, they messed up. The judge program, a fan volunteered community, messed up on this one issue, which I believe was Ross. Could be someone else, but it seems like it is him because the judge program also acknowledged that they received information in July 2017 and it was they had to expedite the process I don't know what the process actually is to decertify him on December to December 25th Christmas 2017 only after Unsleeve Media made it public I'm pretty sure that particular case you don't need to say any other cases you don't need to talk about the guy who owned, who opened a swimsuit store for children, next female children next to his Magic the Gathering or part of his Magic the Gathering local game store. You don't need to talk about David Park, who had, you know, fallen in love with two of his 15-year-old chemistry students to the point that they just felt he was so creepy, uber creepy. Or any of these other cases that have been revealed by Unsleeved Media. You just need to focus on this one case. They received an email which they said is true. I don't know how many emails they receive about sexual offenders, but I, it's either a lot, which is bad, or a little, which is bad. So maybe they receive so many emails about complaints that they don't have time to address each one, or they received this one and they felt like it was a joke or something. Regardless, for from July 2017 until December 25th, 2017, they did not do anything and that was wrong. And the audio clip I played, which might you guys might be confused, that is from the mana source. I have no pride. Pride is a waste of time, he says. And this explains why why so many of the bigger YouTubers do not stand up. So many of the bigger YouTubers stand for nothing and fall for everything, including Pico Trade in a monthly magic box, which they either knew or they were very foolish to not know. And I get it. I get the monthly magic box. That was the first big sponsor for these people. But Pico Trade, I still have a hard time understanding how any college educated and Brian from Tolarian Community College, he has a master's in creative writing, or anyone with higher education would not be able to be like, wait a second, I'm receiving $15,000 in points, $1.5 million in points, and I didn't send a single card out. And I know that this, my other friend, Tolarian, has received 3 million points. And I know that this other dude, who's the owner, Jeff, what is his name? Eric Freytag, he has received 500 million points. $5 million cash, cash money. Mm. And I know these content writers are being paid in points at the time, which was confirmed. I know that the people posting positively on Reddit are being paid on points. I know my dog is being paid on points for every time he poops. He gets, you know, 100 Pico points, right? That's how it works, right? So who is not being paid in this imaginary currency? It doesn't make sense. You guys are smart enough to figure this out. Like, if Pico Trade is giving you 3 million points and you haven't sent a single card, what the blank happened? 
You know it's not correct. You know it. I know you know it. We talked about the monthly magic box before in great detail. So back to the pride issue and why they don't want to... They don't. This is a positive change. Wizard of Coast has said local game stores are now responsible to run background checks on the staff when applicable, which should have been the case 20 plus years ago. Imagine teachers without background checks. Imagine even a Walmart employee in the jewelry and like you know, let's electronic store without a background check. Imagine. Imagine your taxi driver or your Uber driver without a background check or your Airbnb and there's cameras everywhere and your APB, you know, like there are many situations where people can take advantage of their position of power. Look, let's talk about judge. Judge, judge traditionally has meant someone who has very high ethics, very high morals, someone that we can look up to as a role model and community leader. And many judges are elected officials. What the blank is a sexual offender doing as a judge of any program? Don't, don't even talk about Magic Gathering. What is he doing there? Could does Tolarian, does Weds, do they understand, Mana Source, do they understand that this is a problem? I think so. I think that they do. I know that Weds from the Mana Source has used to have this um, whiteboard of all the YouTubers and how many subscribers we had. He reads every comment. He used to comment on all of our videos with something like, hey, cool video. Yeah, I know for that quote, SEO, right? And anyway, I know Tolarian reads all his comments, and Tolarian has tried to comment on my videos, which I have largely ignored. Because I am tired, and I am sick of these pillars of the community forcing us to live by their standards that they themselves cannot live up to. Tolarian says he doesn't want to attack people, he wants to attack companies. Yet he attacks Unsleeve Media and he leaves Wizards of the Coast alone. How easy would it be for either one of those two, Tolarian or the Mana Source, to make a video saying we need background checks? Tolarian's video would get 220,000 views at least. And Wizards of the Coast would have been like, yeah, he's right. We need background checks. Good one, Tolarian. And then everyone on Reddit would clap their hands and have a parade. But unfortunately, or fortunately, the person who is the source of this change, to say that he's the fringe of society is not even correct. He's banned for life. They took away his magic online cards. This is a guy they kicked, they punched, they doxxed, they went after his wife. And he has done more positive change than Tolarian Community College. So, okay, let's say Tulane Community College just flies out to GP London and does plays Papa with his, quote, subscribers. Is that more important than protecting children? Mm. Tough one. Tough one. Really tough. I am over them. A lot of people don't attack them, and I'm going to tell you why they don't attack them, because if you go into Larian's channel right now, and it's too late for him to change it, I already screenshot it, and it'll be in the video this week. He has the Mana Leak, which is this kind of like Canadian judge that Jeremy hates, and he has said some pretty ridiculous stuff to Recently, he's saying that the in Canada, there's no such thing as background checks, or it's really difficult to get one, and he can't get one as a, as a judge, and therefore, it's not useless. It's totally useless, because... This policy doesn't make sense for Canadians who cannot never can get background checks. Um, blank no. I mean, come on. And this guy is being promoted on the channel for Tolarian. And Tolarian is promoting him. The reason people don't speak about him in a negative connotation, even if he's doing stuff that doesn't make sense, like Pico Trade is for the fact that they want him to feature, uh, they want to feature their channel on his channel and then blow up. Like the Manor League. 
If you say stuff that the Tularean Community College likes, you will get featured in his channel. It's too late to screen to not screenshot. I already screenshot it, so don't worry about changing it, hey, Brian. I already have it. Um, yeah, this is a guy. Like the Madden League is kind of like I don't I don't really know that. Much. I've read his comments, and Jeremy obviously hates him. Like he's one of Jeremy's like top trolls, I would assume. And some of the stuff that he's saying, like right now, he's again he's saying that in Canada, background checks are really difficult to get. Why would that be any different? And you ask you you have a little checkbox. Do you submit to a background check? Yes. Check. Do you commit a felon? Hopefully no. Check. Okay, cool. And then your you can run the background check. I mean I, I've been to Canada. Is it really that different? Is it and maybe people from Canada can tell me, is it really difficult to get a background check in Canada? In some employments, like substitute teachers and stuff, in America at least, you go and you pay for your background check. So you get the background check, not the employer, and then you present it to the employer. And the employer's like, oh, good, your background check came out clean. Thank you. And then they hire you. Could that not be a model of success in this case? I, I mean, if you're trying to not get a background check, then you're going to make the same arguments that Manalik is making right now. And they're very, very, very weak arguments. Um, and those are the arguments that Tolarian has, by sponsoring, by promoting the Manalik, Tolarian is saying that background checks isn't important to him because he hasn't made a video about it either way. He's just kind of giving credence to, or credence to, the views of the mana leak, which is, oh, I'm a judge and background checks are just too much work. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys. I don't have pride. Pride's then what damage a waste of time. Define hurt.